All right, let's finish this. Primary gun. Mom's gift. Signs of a struggle. And you went out the window. Shattered. This is the Cassandra Foster who occasionally worked with Salem PD as a psychic consultant. Missing person status request. Oh, the mom's missing. It's just the daughter living here? One of the missing tenants, Cassandra Foster. Yeah, okay. So she's missing and it's just the daughter living here. She's paying rent. My last fight. Damaged the wall. Why are there clothes on the ground? That was weird. Why was the killer here? What was the killer looking for? Anything this way? Oh yeah, this is the hall. You were looking. What is... The, oh! Spirits of all worlds. Book about ghosts. Oh, she was in here? Fighting calm, frightened. Hiding. Watching? Oh! So, I didn't finish this guy. You're purposeful. And you're searching. Came in here specifically looking for her, maybe? Why was the killer here? But four more clues to find. Oh! I need to finish investigating before I go somewhere else. Okay, I assume she maybe left that way. Can't read those notes. That's interesting to have above your bed. Looks like maybe you and your mom? Okay. I know I can walk through walls, but it's less disorienting for me if I use the walls to, like, guide me. I have a direct path, as it were. Whereas if I just walk through the walls, I get confused. Painting. Alright, I need four more clues. I don't know what I'm looking for. What were you looking for? Back out in the hallway. Did I possess you? Man, we gotta find these tenants. If they're still alive. Hmm. Hopes. Check the areas again. All right, I'm lost. What clues am I missing? Find an answer. This makes it look like I have all the clues, even though it says 10 out of 14. Why was the killer here? He was searching for her, maybe? Is that it? How 
did you not lose that cigarette? Damn, just picked you up and threw you. So that's what I walked in on. Was he after the girl? Where'd she go? Well, we know where, where she went. The cutscene even told us. Quite include multiple answers? Is that what? 11 out of 14 clues? Oh, I see. So I have to find that she escaped? Is that... Wait. <sighs> where did the girl go? She went out the freaking window. What do you want me to do? <laughs> Oh, maybe where did she go after go jumping out the window? Is that what I'm trying to figure out? Find clues that would tell me where she would run away to? Obscured. Oh! I must possess you. And influence you to move stuff for me. Should get this photo to Rex for that Amber Alert. A church, maybe? You can receive psychic flashes from certain objects by pinpointing sounds, denoting the strongest psychic energy. Photo of a girl and a priest in front of a local church. Pretty sure. Father, do you have anywhere that I could stay just for a little oh, while? Oh, of course, dear. The church is always your to Nice church. Conclude investigation. Out the window. Gun me down on the street and you didn't even check for witnesses? Like you're untouchable. That sure girl feels that way. Only lead. I need to find her. That is a huge dream catcher. You gonna let me go? There we go. So symbols again. Still hate heights. Is that a recent development? Did my game freeze or is it loading? Or do I have to click something? Hello? There it goes. The witness is my only need. Need to find her. Church is my best bet. Blah, 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 blah. Oh! Review my life. Today, everything died for me. End of forever. Harassed by Baxter? Rough day at work for my man. Took a while for him to be able to talk about it, but this Baxter fellow seems to be completely hostile toward Ronan and there's nothing he can do about it. It's a mystery why there's so much animosity. Ronan's never done anything to offend him, but Baxter decided what kind of person Ronan was. There's no convincing him otherwise. You can't teach some people. It's true. Some people just are determined. <laughs> oh, something over here. Sense 
sense of guilt. No new information. I'm gonna walk down this way because I can. It's not stopping me. If she doesn't want to be in a relationship, she should be direct about it. Uh. Can I possess her? Why are you holding her like that if you don't think she wants don't you to? I don't even think it's the same guy. Copycats. All of them. Hey. What's with these burning buildings? Just have this feeling like something's watching. What if he's never caught? Does he just keep going? I assume that's about the, uh... I don't know if I'm more of those historical blacks. Said nobody ever. <laughs> Where are you guys going? Love how everything's walkable in, in this town. Oh, and I can't pass through it. Okay. I think I'm just totally going off the rails here. Oh, more stuff to find. K. Douglas' cause of death. Victim was hanged from a ceiling fan? Possible suicide. No note. Bell symbol raises possibility of murder. I don't know if we'll, like we're going to have the opportunity to come down this way or if I'm just finding extra stuff. Hi? Rough breakup? He betrayed me. He said he'd love me forever, but he's marrying someone else. Did he cheat on me with her? I always thought there was someone else. Was it her? Does it matter? It looks like he's moved on. Maybe you should too. I can't. Not until I know the truth. Please, I must know. For better or worse. Hi. Right. I'll look into it. Well, maybe. I still don't know why she killed herself. Everything seemed great. I guess that's why I'm so nervous with Susanna. The thing is, if she hadn't jumped off that cliff, I never would have found my real soulmate. Man, it's so messed up. Aww. Hmm. Looks like he met this girl after his ex died. No? Don't kick me out of the menu, I don't like it. Uh, I wonder if he still thinks of her. Maybe that's why he's always been so hesitant. I wouldn't blame him, but it sucks that she's the reason I even approached him. He looks so hurt and broken. Like he needed someone to talk to. I didn't expect to fall in love with him. Weird how things work out. Huh. She was just trying to be a friend. She never anticipated this. How many clues do I need? Just three? The answer is no. What do you want me to do? Oh, order of events is important. So weird. It seems this was all a big misunderstanding. I'm not sure how she'll take it, but I guess I'll find out. The good news is he wasn't cheating on you. The bad news is your suicide brought them together. So... So he really loved me? Looks like it. 
I've made a big mistake. He still thinks about you. Maybe you can take comfort in knowing that you'll never be forgotten. I suppose. I just wish I had trusted him more. Maybe it could have been us getting engaged. What's done is done, I guess. Anyways, thanks for everything. An odd little side quest. Can't put that together? Looks like something to put together. Oh, there's more ghosts. Hey, buddy. You on the clock or something? I was. I uh, worked here ten years until I couldn't take it anymore and ate a gun. Some secrets are just too heavy to carry. What exactly did you do? Some landscaping. Mostly grave digging. Pretty much everything you'd expect a groundskeeper to do. You know that's not what I meant. Look, you were once a detective, and I was once a, a humble groundskeeper. Mm -hmm. Let's just leave it at that. Fine by me, I was just trying to help. Okay, but I still have questions. I said... Let's leave it at that. Really? Am I screwed now? I talked to you wrong and I can't ask? Alright, I think there's nothing I can do. Are you the same girl? Don't even think it's the same guy. <laughs> Copycats. All of them. You're a copycat. Just have this feeling like... Something's watching. You're also a copycat. You're the same guy with the same thoughts. Kay Douglas family photo? She'd never kill herself. She was happy with her life, had plenty of friends. Someone must have done this to her. So we're collecting his victims? Alright. Meow. Meow. Hi, kitty. I'm pretty sure I've gone out of my way to an area we're not supposed to be at yet. More ghosts. Highlands Hills Cemetery plaque? The Ashland Hills Cemetery was founded in 1632 as part of the churchyard for the recent Puritan settlers of the Massachusetts Bay Colony. Certain traumatic events expanded the cemetery, significantly one of which gave the cemetery its name. In 1665, a shipload of immigrants escaping the plague in London realized that the ship's population was already infected. They remained quarantined in the area of the cemetery waiting to die. When they did, their bodies were burned and their ashes buried in the graveyard was henceforth known as Ashland Hills. Ugh! Is that real? Holy frick! Ugh! <sighs> what about those cameras? Like in England? Because she feels like someone's always watching? I don't know if I'm more of those historical blacks. Is that Said no one is? Ever. <laughs> so that's a dig. That's a dig at the game. I am so off the beaten. Oh, I saw a flash. I'm just looking for secrets, and you all should know how I am about this by now. Oh. Alright, I'm not gonna possess you. I don't know where I am. I can't go through this. I can go through this. This is so weird. There's more ghosts. Weird that there's some ghosts we can't see. Alright, I should- oh, there's more stuff. Oh, there's the bell symbol. Detectives are trying to find any possible connection to the bell symbol people named Bell literally references to bells anything that has to do with a bell. This almost looks like one of those creepy, like, notes. Those, like, other symbols that we've seen. I'm not even sure it's a bell. I can see why people are say saying it's a bell. Okay, maybe I won't go that way. Where am I? The FBI can get involved to support local law enforcement 
if it is clearly established that there's a serial killer, the Salem Police Department had no statement on the FBI's announcement at press time, but has continuously refused to describe the deaths as the work of a serial killer. There's no sense getting the town hysterical over something that may not be true. That's, that's dumb. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's dumb. You guess. 15 more to uncover the story. Is there anything like a map? Clues. No. I don't like I don't know where I'm going anymore. Like is it is it okay? Oh. Gas station history plaque. SOC is commonly believed to stand for Salem Oil Company, however, no such company exists. The initials actually stand for Sons of Charlie, the legal name of the service station, established by three brothers Chuck, Charles Jr., Sean, and Seamus O'Leary in 1928 when automobiles started to become common. The business nearly did not survive the Great Depression, but managed to keep itself alive as a front for legal alcohol sales during Prohibition. Can't go that way. Can't go that way. Oh, did I just wrap around to the church? What are you doing? Okay, I don't- you don't look like you're, uh... If I ever met the killer in the street, I don't know what I'd do. Everyone knows it's a friggin' serial killer. But the police are too proud to get FBI help? So weird. Somebody was alive. Yeah. I know what that's like. Is this a thing? Unfortunately, we haven't made any arrests, but don't have any sus suspects. That's why we strongly encourage the people of Salem to contact the police with any possible leads. This is going to take the cooperation of the entire community. Except that you won't admit that it's a serial killer, so... What's it feel like to die? Real witches didn't have those hats. <laughs> okay. On this spot stood a fortification that contained the armament store sought by British soldiers on February 26, 1775. The brave citizens of the town kept the British army at bay by the strategic use of drawbridges, thereby preventing the seizure of critical weapons for the war that would begin only months later. So many ghost things. Alright, so church is that way. What are you doing? In Spain, pretty sure they burned them. Burned what? Oh god. What have I done? No, 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 no. Rick. And Laura, they're they're dead. It's all my fault. We were just having fun. It was, it was an accident. I, I, I didn't mean to hurt anyone. I, I, I can't even remember doing it. Calm down for a second and talk to me. What's your name? Uh, oh, uh... Brad. Good. Now, tell me what happened. I don't know. We were out on the town blowing off some steam. One drink turned into three, and three turned into... Who knows how many? Details are hazy. I, uh, I must have been driving Rick and Laura home when, oh God, I killed them. I'll never forgive myself for doing this. You don't know if you did. You said it yourself. The details are hazy. Now I can take a look around here and see if anything jumps out at me. God, what have I done? 
Okay. Hmm. This must be Brad's car. It's not looking good. Oh yeah, I hit that plaque, but it's still glowing like I didn't. Whiskey. Would a new police chief do better? Hmm. Stay in well lit places. Should be okay. Wow. You think that's how that works? All right, I'm getting way off base here. Who was driving? What was his car? Oh. Uh, Gas station receipt. It's not much, but it's something. Gas station's not far from here. I should check it out. That's where we were just at, right? Fueling. I didn't know you were such a lightweight. Oh no. Lara was pumping gas. What's the broken glass coming from, though? Yeah, cap. <laughs> I mean, cap. What? Oh, uh, gas station. Yeah, the SOC. Okay, great. Everyone was drunk. What are you doing? Why is glass breaking? I can't get in this building. Can't go around there. Train tracks used to be here. Is that back in here? Just trying to see if there was something that could explain breaking glass. Oh, I can't get back in there. Hmm. This fountain is dedicated to the hope that this quiet town of Salem will be known for peace and revere. Uh, reverie? Is that what that was? Peace and reverie? Oh, shit. Not going that way. Okay. <laughs> Thought I had started something. What the heck? Well, you don't look creepy at all. Is there a witness who saw who was driving? Room better be clean when I get home. The police station? When were those trials? 1800s. 1600s. Should really look up all this history stuff. <laughs> and for once I felt safe out at night. All the stories he told me about being the most dangerous man in Salem, they felt true. No one could touch us. Because no one could touch him, and I was with him, and with him. And with him will be with him? I know it. What? And I was with him. 
Am with him, will be with him. I know it. Okay, I got it. I got it. Periods. Periods were hard to find. In that handwriting. Alright. Brad made a call. Lower pump gas. It's not good at telling you... It's like three to five clues, but it do it's not good at telling you like, Oh, but you need to collect these three clues first. Dude. Mysterious bang. Gruesome car crash. Were you trying to steal? Windows coming out of my paycheck. I was just so pissed at those drunken assholes. Who do they think has to clean up their puke? Jerks like that discourage business. I never should have let that woman drive off. I should have just called the cops. So, Brad wasn't driving after all. It was Laura. Well, I can't change what happened, but he'll be glad to know he wasn't the one behind the wheel. So he's trying to fix stuff? But wasn't it five clues I need to find? And that's only four? Does SOC gas ring any bells? Wait. Uh, I remember stopping to uh, fill up. The guys did more than fill up. The cashier wasn't thrilled to clean up after your buddy Rick. And you even tried to call a cab. God, I, I don't remember any of that. When the cashier came storming out, you guys took off with Laura behind the wheel. So, I wasn't driving. Oh. Oh. That whole night was a disaster. Hard to accept my part in things, but at least I know it wasn't all my fault. I don't uh, know what to say. Uh, thank you. It's interesting that his buddies aren't here. Like his buddies were Laura and the other guy were at peace, but he was so guilt-ridden he stayed. All right. If I can find the church, we can continue on with the actual story. 